Hi, so today we're making an egg drop device that's going to prevent an egg from breaking after it's being after being dropped about 5 to 6 meters height. And we need straws, scissors, tape, duct tape, newspapers, and a ruler for measuring. So the first thing you need to do is to measure um, 7 centimeters on the straws. And after you do that, you cut them, you tape them. And after you cut them, you're going to take a sheet of newspaper and tape the straws to the newspaper and wrap them around. Wrap the newspaper around the straws. And tape it. After it's taped, then you use the duct tape and you cover all sides. Okay. So for the shorter sides, you're going to use six straws and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to tape them together and then wrap them around with newspaper and then with the duct tape. So for the base and the top, you, again, you're going to use six straws and they're going to measure seven by 4.5 centimeters and you're going to wrap them again in newspaper and then duct tape. When you have your four sides you tape them together on a 90 degree angle like this. So after you tape after you tape um, all four sides top and the bottom this is the final product. So it is very important to have cushioning and then um, so the insulators in this device are going to be paper crumpled paper, so you take the newspaper and you pack it tightly and when the box is made and you stuff the paper inside at the bottom and then the egg is ready to go in there and you need to put paper on the top as well and along the sides too and this is important because if the device falls the wrong way, it might roll and the egg needs to have this, those insulators on all four sides, as well as the top and the bottom. And before dropping it, you take a piece of tape and you tape it. Okay, so now we're going to drop it. So now we're going to check it. Open the box, take the paper out, and we have an egg. Okay, so these are the calculations. To figure out the volume, you multiply length times width times height, and these are the measurements for our device. It comes out to 704 centimeters cubed because we measured in centimeters. Next is the velocity. The formula is this one, velocity final squared equals velocity initial squared plus or minus 2gh, and the velocity initial is zero. So the formula turns out to velocity final equals plus or minus square root of 2gh. The height of the drop was 5.2 meters. Velocity initial is zero again because the egg was not moving at the beginning before being dropped. And g is gravity, and that's 9.8 meters per second squared. You solve, and turns out to 10 meters per second. Acceleration is velocity initial squared over 2d, where d is the depth of cushion. And the cushion is the newspaper that is between the egg and the and the ground, plus the base. And velocity initial becomes 10, and 
This comes from here. The velocity final of the ball becomes the velocity initial of the impact on the ground. When you solve for that, you get 1,250 meters per second squared for acceleration. And finally, force equals mass times acceleration. Mass of the x, 63 grams in acceleration. We solved for previously, and you get 78.75 newtons. And that's kilograms times meters per second squared.